What's up guys? We're here in Cappadocia and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do in the area. We're staying here for 14 days and we're going to do everything from hiking to hot air balloon rides so it should be really fun and enjoy the video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure, whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. Cappadocia is located near the center of Turkey, about 300 kilometers from Ankara, 500 kilometers from Antalya, or 800 kilometers from Istanbul. It's actually a region, not a city, and apart from Lake Tus and the Lara Valley, the best activities are found in and around Gurume National Park. Now that you've got a lay of the land, let's count down the best things to do in Cappadocia. The ninth best thing to do in Cappadocia is to visit Lake Tus. Not only is Lake Tus the largest salt lake in Turkey, but it's also one of the largest salt lakes in the world. It's known for its vibrant pink color and is home to a variety of birds. But when we visited at the beginning of November, the lake wasn't very pink. It was mostly dried up, with one area being covered in water that made for amazing reflections. We read that climate change has had a drastic consequence here. Extreme drought over the last years has resulted in the receding of the lake and the perishing of flamingos and other birds. This, coupled with the fact that it's one and a half hours from Gorome, makes it last on our list. But it's still very beautiful and worth it if you want some epic pictures. At number 8, we have Uchisar Castle, which towers above Cappadocia Valleys and is the highest point in the area. The castle is the biggest and most beautifully carved rock formation in the region. You can walk through the many rooms carved into the rock, which are connected to each other with stairs and tunnels. These were once used as a fortress by the Roman and Byzantine armies. But besides that, it's also a great place to visit because of its panoramic views of Cappadocia. The observation terrace on the top of the castle boasts some of the best sunset views in the region. There are many ways to explore the Cappadocia Valleys, and one fun option is on the back of a camel or a horse. There are many tour operators in and around Gurume that offer one or two hour rides. We decided to go on a camel ride during sunrise, and while it was a magical experience to watch the balloons from the back of a camel, it isn't for everyone. It's an awesome activity if you want to have beautiful pictures with camels and balloons all around you, but if you want more adventure and want to see more of the valleys, we recommend going on a horseback ride instead. We call them Anatolian camels, mixed of both. Asian and African. We have just one hams on uh, these camels. Uh, Asian ones have two hams, so mixed camels have sometimes one, sometimes two hams. At number six, we have the Gorome Open Air Museum. This isn't your everyday museum. It's actually a large outdoor area home to various monasteries, churches, and chapels carved out of the rock. Some of them date back to as early as the 4th century. Once you pay the entry fee, you can visit the churches and monasteries, which all have various rooms. The churches have beautiful frescoes, which still retain their original colors. We highly recommend getting a guide at the entrance, as you'll learn more about the history of this unique place and the stories behind the wall paintings. Hi guys, my name is Mehmet. Uh, we have been together with Zach and Ina. I'm the official guide of the museum. Uh, you need to visit there because this is the highlights of the day. You will see many churches, which is well-preserved churches in Cappadocia. Also, if you come here, uh, find me, please. <laughs> At 
The fifth best thing to do in Cappadocia is to watch the hot air balloons at sunrise. Watching hundreds of balloons floating through the orange skies is a truly magical sight, whether you're flying the balloon yourself or watching from the ground. You can find viewpoints all around Gurime that offer magnificent views of the action, such as the Rose Valley or Love Valley viewpoints. We found a great little spot near the Love Valley above Gorame and had it all to ourselves. And right when we were watching the balloons, another magical thing happened. We got engaged. No summer rain, keep falling. Yeah, baby. Yeah. How long are you The fourth best thing to do in Cappadocia is to explore Ilara Valley. It takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes to drive to the trailhead from Gurame, so we recommend driving your own car or booking a tour for the day. You can find a tour link in the description below. The Ilara Valley is about 100 meters deep and 10 kilometers long, which makes it the perfect hiking destination. It was once a settlement area that hosted monastery life between the 4th to 13th centuries, with more than 4,000 residences and hidden cave churches with frescoes. You can still find some of them along the trail today. To explore the valley and its churches, you start in the town of Ilara and hike to Belisirma or all the way to Selime. We hiked our way to Belisirma, where we had a delicious lunch at a beautiful restaurant on the river. So we are here now, right at the entrance of Ilara Valley, and we're gonna walk all the way to Belisirma, right here. There's like a nice place to have lunch, and then we'll come back. Cappadocia is extremely fascinating, and the underground cities are a big reason why. You can find approximately 200 underground cities in Cappadocia, which were built to protect the inhabitants from outsiders. This allowed thousands of people to live their lives in total secrecy. Some of them were only abandoned in 1923, and weren't rediscovered until 1963. Today, you can visit some of these underground cities and explore various levels where you'll find dining, living, and storage rooms. The most visited underground cities include Derinkuyu and Kaimakli. We visited Kaimakli as it was recommended by our great tour guide from the Open Air Museum in Gorame. Whichever underground city you choose, go early or later in the day if you have your own car. Get a guide at the entrance to learn more about this interesting piece of history. Filled with fairy chimneys and surreal volcanic rock formations, Cappadocia is home to some of the most beautiful valleys in the world. From the awe-inspiring Rose Valley to the strange Love Valley and the lush Ilara Valley, Cappadocia begs to be explored by foot and is a true hiker's paradise. With various towns conveniently located near the hiking trails, it's easy to explore. Most hikes are relatively short and include a maze of pathways that guide you in and around the impressive stone towers and rugged canyons. Check out our video about the six best hikes in Cappadocia to learn more about each different trail in detail. So we're in the heart of the Deverant Valley, which is also called the Imaginary Valley. And if you use your imagination, you can see lots of different shapes in these rocks, like camels and human faces. So it's really fun to just come and explore for the afternoon. The best thing to do in Cappadocia is to go on a hot air balloon ride. Seeing the incredible rock formations from above is one of the most magical experiences we've had during our travels around the world so far. 
The beauty of the sunrise colors and hundreds of other balloons floating around us was almost indescribable. This activity is an absolute must while in Cappadocia. There are many reputable tour operators that offer hot air balloon rides, but we recommend pre-booking your flight as you don't want to miss out on this experience. The flight usually lasts between one to one and a half hours and only goes at sunrise. Check out our Cappadocia hot air balloon video to see a full overview and review. We also put a link in the description below to book your own hot air balloon ride, which is the same one as we did. We're flying in the Love Valley right now, and like the balloon's going up and down. We're kind of low right now. It's really That's nice. good. Alright guys, that's it for our video on the best things to do in Cappadocia. We hope you enjoyed it. Cappadocia is a magical destination and is one of our favorite places in all of Turkey. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Turkey videos and download our free giveaway in the description below. Catch you on the next adventure.